Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, you catch me live as I watch at half time South Korea Neil Garner 2, which completely changes the complexion of that group and um, makes it difficult for Korea potentially to go through, but it really opens it up. It gives Garner a really good opportunity to get in amongst it and to get out the group. Um, the reason for today's episode was there was some news that broke over the weekend. It was quite a, I think it probably made most football fans quite emotional, to be honest with you. And that is on two counts. One, Lionel Messi is potentially going to retire from international football at the conclusion of this World Cup. Well, that hangs in the balance at the moment, because even though Argentina beat Mexico, uh, they still have it all to do in their final group game to avoid going out early in this World Cup. Um, but the rumours are that wherever Argentina get to, Messi will call time on his international career at the conclusion of this tournament. The second uh, bit of news, which also concerns Lionel Messi, funnily enough, is that he's seriously considering, and is apparently very close to, signing for David Beckham's MLS franchise into Miami. Now, if that's, if that's true, then it brings the curtain down and effectively ends the era of Lionel Messi playing at the highest level. It brings down his European adventure. He came over to Europe to play for Barcelona's youth team at the age of 13, I think it was. And for over 20 years, he has been in Europe ever since, making his way up through the youth teams, playing for Barcelona as a 16-year-old. And the rest, as they say, is history. His place amongst the pantheons of the all-time greats is definitely secured but if it's true that he's going to sign this agreement which will see him bring his European adventure to an end and then join up with Inter Miami for the start of the MLS season then his career at the top level along with his international retirement as I said earlier his career at the top level will come to an end and what we'll see is a slow decline of Lionel Messi as he passes into the annals of history as opposed to being in the present and there were a couple of things that kind of struck me I mean first he it's only a year or a year and a half or so when he joined PSG from Barcelona I think we all remember that emotional press conference where he joined almost against his will and he'd actually been playing well for Barcelona and he's been playing well for PSG now. He's found his place within the team. He's got that relationship with Neymar and Mbappe. And <clears throat> it's almost an admission from him that obviously Father Time is catching up with him and the difficulty of maintaining that, that competitive element with the physical demands of top level European football. Perhaps he can't do it anymore. And, it, and it's quite a stark and quick decline if that is indeed the case because with no disrespect to the MLS it's not in any way comparable to the top European leagues in terms of quality or depth it is very much a semi-retirement for a marquee player it's a slower pace there's less comp competition there in terms of quality of player less competition in terms of quality of team it just doesn't have the caliber of a European league so for Messi if he is going to go there it certainly is that that hybrid position from being competitive full-time top level footballer towards going into retirement and it's happening very quickly i mean the guy is 35 years of age it's not particularly old by today's standards the level that he's been at has been very good we've seen glimpses of it at the world cup so for him to me making those steps shows that decline happening and it's really really sad because Messi you can have that debate about Messi and Ronaldo and that almost non-quantitative element of did they have the same impact as a Maradona or a Pele or a Di Stefano those kind of players but they are in that elite all-time conversation and it is a shame that we're not going to see him grace European leagues or European competition He's not going to be in the running for Champions League all-time goal scorer. 
Cristiano Ronaldo has got his heart set on staying for uh, in the Champions League. He's going to leave Manchester United and he's looking for a Champions League side to move to. So it looks like Messi isn't going to catch him on that. It looks like Messi will not catch him on the international goal scoring record. It looks like Messi isn't going to threaten the top of the league uh, goal scoring charts. Maybe those things don't matter to him. But it's a shame that I think most people probably were unprepared for it to be so soon if it's going to happen now. And it's kind of sad that he's going to start to fade. That this guy who has dominated world football from being one of the most precocious talents from around 2005, when the world really knew that we had something special on its hands, to that amazing uh, Getafe goal where he dribbled, the, that very similar goal to the Maradona goal against England, goes past half the team from the halfway line and, and scores. And to see that not being around, where he and Ronaldo dominated the Ballon d'Or for so long, it's, yeah, it's quite emotional. I think most football fans around the world will get a bit choked up when it dawns on them that Messi is in the process of leaving us as an active player. Yeah, and it's sad in some respects that we're watching the decline and we're watching the slow retirement of one of the greatest to ever do it. And I just wanted to tip my cap and say, as a player, the heights that he reached, the consistency that he showed, scoring 90 goals in a single season, multiple Champions Leagues, La Ligas, Great that he got some international success with Argentina. I think just to be able to say um, it was a privilege and uh, a joy to watch his European career. And he'll still have moments in America, of course, but it won't be the same. And it's just It's just a shame that at the age of 35, where most players are able to play 37, 38, that he's he's taking that decision now. Of course, he knows his mind, he knows his body. But yeah, I think I think a reflective moment by all will be had very very soon. You know, if and when that announcement becomes public, and we see Messi fade away from the international scene, and we see him fade away from European football. So I just wanted to ponder and reflect, and invite you all to share your Messi moments, your love for him, and your appreciation for him. He's without doubt one of the most. Um, loved and respected footballers we've ever seen and his time in Europe is imminently about to come to an end.